The following slides shall allow to get some better understanding of the SolarWinds supply chain attack observed. So what happened? SolarWinds has confirmed that their network performance monitoring platform was compromised and a vulnerability was built into the software. I highly encourage that you read the um, SolarWinds advisory indicated here. And the modified software was then used by customers of SolarWinds to obtain high privilege access direct, uh, rights in the on-premises and Azure Active Directory. What is the impact? Access to online email and modification to Azure Active Directory has been confirmed. And the confirmation can be seen in the Microsoft blog, the QR code that you see indicated here. The call for action is to follow the guidelines by SolarWinds and by Microsoft. And from the checkpoint side, we are documenting our IPS, antivirus, antibot and threat emulation defense capabilities in the article 171000 and the QR code, you find it here. So what has happened? The following information is um, dated of today, 16th of December, and based on the information that I found on the Microsoft blog. So if we look at the structure, we have a customer running a SolarWinds Orion system to monitor the network traffic. Of course, security infrastructure is in place on the parameter, as well as security structures and measurements are in place on any um, solution that is deployed in the cloud environment. And in the SolarWinds, of course, we have software signing processes using the CA of SolarWinds and we have the software itself. So in regular operations, customers would use the regularly signed software from SolarWinds in their network. All fine so far. And in regular access situations, when a user needs some information, of course, he is uh, then using, if he is using information in the Azure environment, a SAML token, and then that token allows him to get the information. Note that, of course, this is all legitimate traffic because everything is signed by tokens um, trusted by the on-premises and Azure Active Directory. So traffic is legitimate. It's not marked as malicious by the security measurements. Unfortunately, it has been confirmed that an attacker got access to the SolarWinds DLL and modified it. The compromised DLL then was signed by a compromised signing process. So what occurred after a software update on the customer side was that a regular signed software, no indication of being malicious, was actually installed on the SolarWinds machine. That led to have the SolarWinds machine being compromised. The software remained dormant. It is noted for up to 14 days to be dormant and then there was a short connection to a command and control server. After this, the attack continued and the local Active Directory credentials of the machine have been compromised and privilege escalation has been observed. Then the software attack start to move laterally towards the Active Directory server. Once the Active Directory server was compromised, the target was to look at the signing process for SAML tokens. The signing process for SAML tokens being compromised allowed the attacker to initiate communication that was fully legitimate because the token was forked, but however, it was signed correctly with the correct certificates and it allowed the attacker to obtain information. In addition, it was observed that the attacker used the compromised signing process to even modify the trust relationship 
of the Microsoft Azure Active Directory structure. So again, this is based on information of today and I highly recommend to follow the guidelines indicated earlier in the presentation. So follow the guidelines given by SolarWinds, Microsoft and all the other colleagues and companies that are mentioned in their blogs. Thank you.